a month ago, almost to the day, in fact, yeah, on the 3rd of August, uh, Patrick and I tied the knot. And honestly, that was the best decision uh, and a completely logical one. Like, yeah, it's about love. It's about emotion. But honestly, if you find someone that's just a true ally in this world, loves you dearly, wants the best for you, wants the best for a shared future, why wouldn't you marry that person? Why wouldn't you want to spend as much time as possible with that person and commit to a future together? We spent nearly two years saving for the wedding um, with a lot of little help, a lot of help from both of our parents. We were able to pay for an amazing day, amazing wedding in Barcelona with all of our family and friends. All of the cliches, however, are completely true. Everything flew by very, very quickly. We barely ate anything. I feel like I didn't see anybody. And this was extra frustrating for me because a lot of my family had made a real effort. They'd, you know, not given up their summer holidays, but they'd made sure their summer holidays coincided with being in Barcelona on the 3rd of August. Uh, they were forced to spend it there with us. Um, they flew to Barcelona. They found hotels. You know, they did everything so that they could be there. I'm very grateful to them. I'm sure they were happy to do it. But I feel like I barely spent five seconds with them. One of the most important things all along for me was to find a really good photographer and videographer. Obviously, I'm really big into photos and video. So it was important to find someone who was good, but also to capture the memories. I thought that, you know, this was really important because aside from you kind of what you take away with you, what will last with you in your memory forever, you know, it's, it's all you're left with, really. Um... And looking back at the video and photos from my parents' wedding 31 years ago, there are people that are no longer with us. And it's great to see them on such a happy occasion, surrounded by family and friends. And also, of course, for me, I wasn't able to attend that wedding, my parents' wedding, because I wasn't even born. And so the photos and the video there are important for me to put a context to that moment in my parents' lives. The photos, that our photographer actually gave us the photos just a few days ago, and they're great. They're really good. There's loads of them. There's about 950 of them. And she's given them as in colour and black and white. So we're talking like, I don't know, some 1800, 1900 photos. Um, they combine various friends and family from both sides. Some of the combinations of groups is really interesting. There's like someone that Patrick went to university with, with some of my friends from work. It's like, how are we having photos together? It's really weird. Uh, there's a lot of fo like posed photos of Patrick and I where the photographer kind of whisters away after the ceremony to these gardens at the venue to do like a photo shoot, which, you know, we had to pose for. Can you stand here, do this, hold hands, kiss, look over there, look over here. Um, it's lovely. The pictures are quite amazing. I'm very happy with them. But I really prefer the ones that we're posing with our friends or the kind of candied ones. They make me much happier. And like they really, really capture the joy that I remember of that day. And also, I mean, she's captured some moments that I don't even remember, you know, there's some, some hilarious ones of us dancing and friends and I posing and doing daft things. And, and that's captured really well. So for me, on balance, probably less kind of photo shoot, more just capturing the kind of the ambience, if you like. 